This video has been done upon a request to make a tutorial about how to find the center of gravity of an asymmetric profile. In the first part, I will show you how you can solve this by using just two funicular polygons. And in the second part, I will show you an alternative experimental solution. This profile does not have any axis of symmetry, so the center of gravity is not obvious in any way. Begin by dividing it on simple figures such as rectangles or triangles. Now find the center of gravity of every one of these simple figures you have chosen. Calculate the area of every figure. Choose a reasonable scale and assign a load to every figure according to its area. In this case, the scale will be 1 to 3. The first figure has an area of 17 cm square. With the scale 1 to 3, the load vector will have a size of 5.7 cm. The second figure has an area of 6.8 cm. With the scale 1 to 3, the vector will have a size of 2.3 cm. The last vector has a size of 3.3 cm. Now label the spaces and transfer the loads into the force diagram. Choose an arbitrary point O and connect it to all points on the load line. Transfer the branches from the force diagram to the form diagram to create the funicular polygon. Begin at an arbitrary point. Where the first and the last line meet, there is the resulting force of all loads. With that we have found one coordinate of the center of gravity. Now we have to repeat the whole procedure in the other direction to find the other coordinate. Again we take the vectors from the figures according to their area. In this case the two centers of gravity are on the same line, so we will just sum up these two vectors together. Now again label the spaces, but now with different letters so that you don't get confused and transfer the loads into a second force diagram. Choose an arbitrary point and connect all the points on the load line to it. And transfer the branches one after another into the form diagram. Again, where the first and the last line meet, there is the center of gravity in that direction. Now that we have found the center of gravity in both directions, we can find the crossing point of the two lines and there is the exact center of gravity for this profile. Now that I have shown you a theoretical way to find the center of gravity of this asymmetric profile, I will also show you an experimental solution. Take a piece of your profile, in this case a wooden model, and hang it on a string in an arbitrary point. In the same point, place a string with a weight on it. Then let the whole situation stabilize and draw carefully a line where does the string go through. Now choose a different point and do the same thing as before. Finally, let's compare the results. Although there is a certain degree of inaccuracy, the results seem to be fairly similar. So now you know how to find the center of gravity of your asymmetric profiles with the use of graphic statics and how to prove your results experimentally. So I hope that this will help you in your design projects and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.